where he is expected to sit down with the president of China, Xi Jinping, for a crucial dinner discussing the potential of a trade truce. The administration floating the idea that a deal can be achieved, but also warning of additional tariffs should the two countries not strike an agreement. Joining me right now is the former Undersecretary of State for Economic Growth, Energy and the Environment, Bob Hormaz. Bob, it's good to see you this morning. Good to be with you. Thank you so much for joining us. What could come out of this meeting in Argentina? Well, hopefully some kind of deal that's sufficient to stop the escalation in tariffs, which are harmful to China, but also harmful to the U.S. A lot of American companies are uncomfortable with this trade war with China and the fact that it could get worse. The probability, though, is that they're not going to have a breakthrough because they, to have a breakthrough to summit, a lot of work needs to be done. There has to be agreement on principles. Neither of those have, have occurred at this point. So the best they can do is develop a process for moving forward with some broad outlines of objectives that both leaders support. One of these, one of the reasons for these tariffs against China, the president says, is because of China's behavior. The fact that it is stealing intellectual property, it is forcing the transfer of technology, it is not opening its markets to foreign companies the way the rest of the world would like. And yet there is another impact of these tariffs. Look at the, the, the toll on automakers, as you mentioned. Volvo is slowing down hiring, and it's new assembly plant in Charleston, South Carolina, we learned this morning. It's citing the increased tariffs from the trade fight with China. The company also said it's calling off plans for an IPO, potentially worth $30 billion as a result of this dispute. It follows General Motors' plans to cut 14,000 jobs, shut down five U.S. factories next year. The president is now saying that GM closures may actually justify the auto tariffs. So how much longer can this go and how damaging will this be, do you think, to companies that are getting sort of caught up in this fight. Well, it's going to be even more damaging if the president follows through and at the end of the year, early next year, raises the tariffs from 10 percent to 25 percent and adds a whole new swath of items to the tariff list. And the reason is it does certainly hurt China, but it does hurt us because of the interdependence in the relationship. So we what should get the president do, Bob? Of, I mean, I, you, you know the issues about the, uh, about the intellectual right. property. And, and yes, what, and what I spent 10 days in China, intellectual property. When I was in government, intellectual property issues, questions of partnership, subsidies, they all come up. There have been negotiations on them. I think what's needed is for the two presidents to agree that if they are going to move ahead in this relationship, they've got to take a much more determined view to get changes that are acceptable and, and, and level the playing field between foreign companies and Chinese companies. Or, or and I think could the this... Chinese understand something has to be done. I just think that the tariff escalation is probably so harmful to both sides that it's unlikely to be the way of getting real progress. So you the say end. the Chinese understand something needs to be done. What does that mean, though? I mean, uh, well, we're I'm, talking about a dictator for life in President I'll Xi. I'll give you one example. Yeah. I gave a keynote speech at the Shenzhen Technology Fair, seeing high-tech products from China and all around the world. Even the foreign companies that were represented there said that Chinese are developing intellectual property of their own, innovative stuff of, 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 on many levels in China. So they, their entrepreneurs now have an interest in protecting their intellectual property, just as, of course, our companies do. So I think there's a greater chance now of getting mm -hmm. some agreement on intellectual property protection that m there might not have been five years ago when the Chinese were not developing their own intellectual property. That's an area where I think there's some overlap, some convergence. Also, subsidies. Very good the, point. The yeah. Chinese are trying to cut back on subsidies. They have big uh, spending. Uh, e even though the reserves are substantial, their spending is substantial as well. I think reducing subsidies in their interest and, of course, in the interest of avoiding uh, unfair competition would be something they might decide it, that they can do. And so there's some, some room here. There's room for upside potential in the, out of this meeting, isn't there? There is. And I think that it's not that they're going to have a breakthrough on either of these or other items. But if they establish a process whereby the leaders ask for their experts to sit together and work for, say, six months and report back to them on two or three or four items, it won't be a whole list of the kind the United States has proposed to China, right. but two or three items of particular significance, that might be the way out of it and avoid further escalation of tariffs, which, as you correctly point out, uh, is, is going to be harmful just because these economies are so interdependent. And one point for Americans to bear in mind, most of the tariffs we've imposed so far on are, are intermediate goods, 
products that are components for American companies. So it squeezes American companies. The next round, if there are new items added, they'll be on consumer goods like your like cell phone. Like the iPhone. Exactly. Yeah, which those, is why Apple if, has been trading down. Actually, exactly. If they're 10 percent or 25 percent, that virtually goes right to the consumer. But there's a potential, I think I hear you saying, of a big rally if we get any upside potential out of this. Maybe markets get a relief yeah. rally. Uh, I think there will. If we see something, because nothing think, price in. For two it, reasons. One, they'll make progress or hopefully make progress on certain subsidy issues or other issues. And second, it, if it works or if it's the right kind of deal, can avoid further escalation. So both would be market movers on the positive side. Interesting.